Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Hello friends. In this series, we last learned about solving Cauchy Euler equation. Now we are going to learn how to solve Legendre linear differential equation. Here we have the differential equation x plus 1 the whole square d square y by dx square plus x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y is equal to 2 sin log x plus 1. Now the question is how do we identify if the equation is of Legender linear differential equation. In Legender linear differential equation, dy by dx term will have ax plus b as linear function of first degree, d square y by dx square term will have ax plus b the whole square as linear function of second degree, and similarly d cube y by dx cube will have ax plus b the whole cube as linear function of third degree. This is how we identify a given equation is of form Legendre linear differential equation. Here in this question dy by dx will have linear function of first degree x plus 1, d square y by dx square will have linear function x plus 1 of degree 2. Therefore, the given equation is of Legendre linear differential equation. And now x plus 1 the whole square d square by dx square can be written in the form x plus 1 the whole square d square plus x plus 1 into d by dx can be written in the form x plus 1 into d minus 1 into y is equal to 2 sin log x plus 1. After identifying the equation is of Legendre linear differential equation, we just put x plus 1 is equal to e raised to z from 1 plus x is equal to e raised to z, we get x is equal to e raised to z minus 1 and put z is equal to log x plus 1. Replace x plus 1 d by dx with d dash and replace x plus 1 the whole square d square by dx square with d dash into d dash minus 1. Now in LHS of the question we replace x plus 1 the whole square d square as d dash into d dash minus 1 and we replace x plus 1 into d with d dash minus 1 into y is equal to in RHS we replace log x plus 1 as z then 2 sin log x plus 1 becomes 2 sin z. d dash is multiplied with d dash minus 1 then we get d dash square minus d dash plus d dash minus 1 into y is equal to 2 sin z minus d dash plus d dash becomes 0 then we get d dash square minus 1 into y is equal to 2 sin z. Now we need to find the solution of y. y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find the complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d dash square minus 1 into y is equal to 2 sin z. 
For finding the auxiliary equation, we only need to substitute a variable instead of d dash. Here we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m square minus 1 is equal to 0. m square minus 1 is equal to 0 can be written in the form m square is equal to 1. Therefore, we get m is equal to plus or minus 1. Here, the roots are real and distinct. Therefore, to find the complementary function, we use the formula c1 erased to m1 z plus c2 erased to m2 z. Now, substitute m is equal to 1 and m is equal to minus 1 in the formula. We get the complementary function as c1 erased to minus z plus c2 erased to z. Now, we need to find the particular integral. The particular integral is equal to 1 by d dash square minus 1 into 2 sin z. Here the coefficient of z in sin z is 1 and replace d dash square with negative of square of coefficient of z in sin z. Then particular integral is equal to 1 divided by d dash square is replaced with minus 1 minus 1 2 sin z which is equal to 1 by minus 2 into 2 sin z. Therefore, the particular integral is equal to minus sin z. Now, the solution of y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Here, the complementary function is c1 e raised to minus z plus c2 e raised to z and particular integral is minus sin z. We know that e raised to z is 1 plus x and z is equal to log x plus 1. Therefore, the solution of y is equal to c1 into e raised to minus z can be written in the form e raised to z whole inverse. We know that e raised to z is 1 plus x then e raised to z whole inverse can be written in the form 1 plus x whole inverse plus c2 into e raised to z can be written in the form 1 plus x minus sin z can be written in the form minus sin log 1 plus x. Therefore, solution of y is equal to c1 into 1 plus x whole raised to minus 1 can be written in the form 1 plus x plus c2 into 1 plus x minus sine log 1 plus x. Hello.